250 gold, random kind of relic, or choose a card. I think 250 gold is looking pretty nice right about now. I'm gonna go for it. Now, if I go for it, I'm gonna have to go for an early leap. And that's always risky. But I like the risk, baby. I like it. Let's get a YouTuber. We have a lot of YouTubers stocked up already, but we can get a YouTuber. Alright, so the, for me to get a YouTuber, we have to go back to that mentality. We gotta try the anger, right? We gotta try the anger. We gotta try all these new cards. But I gotta bring it balanced. And make it sure that it wins. Because no one wants to try see a YouTuber that's, that's failing. So we're gonna try to make it spicy. But winning. It's important. I've been taking that doubt thing. I've been saying yes to that every single time. And you know what? I always regret it. But I do it anyways. I always regret it, but I do it anyways, guys. Is that called insanity? When you regret something, but you do it anyways? I think so. I think it's called insanity. Battle trance. Disarm. Oof. Place a card from the from your hand on, on the bottom of your drop pile. It costs zero into this. Whoa! This is a new card. This is a YouTuber, guys. We got fourth thought. We got fourth thought. Place a card from your hand on the bottom of your drop pile. It costs zero until played. Upgrade this to zero. So what would this be good for? What would that be good for? Let's think about some of the synergies this might have. I guess it's kind of good, like, uh, for Grand Finale, yes. For the Ironclad, what is it good for? Any three-cost card? I guess you can get expensive cards and do that with any three-cost cards. For Barricade? But Barricade, you want Barricade out early, right? Demon Form, you probably want Demon Form out early, right? Bludgeon, it's good for bludgeon, but bludgeon, you want that front loaded damage out early. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's not meant for the ironclad. Let me see who, who it's meant for. Let's see who it's meant for. You can put Rayform at the bottom of your deck. You can put a uh, buffer. If you want to hold on to that? I don't know. Because for thin decks, it's not bad, right? If you have a thin deck. If you do battle trends, you do fourth thought, and you can get a lot of value out of that. So let's say I have battle trends now, right? I have battle trends now. So we have card draw, and then we can take, let's say we take the fourth thought. Upgrade it. Keep the deck small. Maybe we're, we're like, I don't know. I, I still don't, still not seeing that. You got top? Yeah. So let's do this. Um, let's do disarm. 100%. Clothesline, I like a lot. Body Slam, I, I dig it as well. I also like the Grumman Horn. I also like the Dreamcatcher. I think Dreamcatcher is a little bit underrated. Would I buy it? Mm, I think Grumman Horn is worth the buy. Removing the doubt, I'll take that. I'll get rid of that. Now we can do fourth hour body. I do Body Slam. I'm, I'm happy with this deck. Sometimes I don't like removing doubt because I can get a, an event to get rid of it, but. Headbutt, headbutt, rage, or fire breathing. I'm gonna skip on both of these. Now, this is the gremlin. We have the strength pot. I'm gonna upgrade this. It's worth it for me to just take damage in this fight. It seems solid in corruption, barricade deck. You can shove one to the draw. To the bottom, so you get the others. He's like, all right, heavy blade. If you're still waiting on, yeah, there's there's decent synergies here and there. Hey, thank you, Blink Wave. Appreciate the kind words, bro. Appreciate it so much. I love hearing things like that. I'm glad you like the content, dude. 
Thank you, man. I, uh... I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, man. It's, um... It's a process. I'm glad everybody's enjoying it. I need to make a coffee, guys. I need to make a coffee for you guys. After this, I'll leave to make a quick little coffee. Oopsies. That was... I meant to strike that guy. I meant to strike that guy and get the, uh... Hmm. What? I was growing fast. I mean, uh... I'm still growing, but, you know... It's like... It's, I'm still growing. Still growing. I think YouTube's doing really well for me. YouTube's doing really well for me. Hmm. Hey, welcome, Everdane. Welcome, man. Hello, everybody. All right, so let's go... Bag of Marbles, I like that. I like Reckless Charge as well. I know Reckless Charge can give me days, but I think it's the follow blink. I think we can make that days a good thing with the right cards. Let me go make a copy real quick. All right, be right back, guys. Uh-oh. Need you guys, huh? Need you guys. These guys are out of control. I don't have coffee, so I have black tea. Which is arguably better, huh? See, I don't want to wake this guy up just yet. It's actually a rough fight. If I do this, I can get Gremlin Horn. I won't draw, but I get the energy. But then I become vulnerable, which is kind of bad. It might be worth it to just like... Hmm. What's the ideal way to do this? We could, um... Butter them up and don't fully commit so we don't actually take more damage than we need to. I feel like maybe we just do that. We butter them up a little bit. What build am I aiming for? I'm not aiming for a build. I'm just taking what the card is giving me. I'm making the best deck that I can with the cards that I'm getting offered. I think that's the best way to play. So you don't necessarily aim for a build. You, 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 take what, you take what's offered to you. See, I think we managed to take a lot less damage that way. A lot less damage that way, guys. So if you're ever in that fight, guys, make sure you, um... Make sure you kind of spread out the damage and don't try to get yourself vulnerable too soon. Now, we already did the triple sentry, so this is either Laga or Gremlin Horn, which... Could be bad. Now, you'll notice I actually don't have a lot of defense in my deck. I don't have a lot of defense. That's not a good thing. I could kill this guy with a strength pot, but if it's... Hmm. Paul Moore, we could do the anger. You guys want to see the anger? Aye, man, I, I want to see the anger work, but I don't know if it's going to work, guys. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know how I can make this work, to be honest. Just because I got a little number buff doesn't mean it necessarily is worth taking still. Yeah, it's six damage. I'll take it. We'll give it a whirl. We'll do it for Anthony. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's worth defending here because he's going to die. Nice turn. Use both potions, no problem. Okay. Pendid. Nice. Metallicize. Yes. I need defenses. Give me defenses all day, every day. Disarm for the Hexaghost. Great upgrade. Yes, yes, yes. Ow, ow. You know, that's fine. Well, Pentagraph sucks because we're going to end up getting healthier than we want to get, but it's all good. I think Metallicize for consistent block. Close in for more weaken. I think the weaken is really important. Not to mention, it's a pretty big hit for Pendiv. We got Disarm. Ooh, perfect. This should be a relatively easy um, fight now. 
I'm gonna be careful with Reckless Charge. Actually, no, we can afford to play it. Anger, I should probably wait towards the end. Nah, we'll play it. No hesitation. No hesitation here. Wait, gotta keep track of Pendev here. Okay, anger and Reckless Charge coming together. Okay, so we have Pendev now. I think body uh yeah that's that's great that's great stuff i mean he's down to 109 doing pretty well more angers i should probably slow down with the anger huh just a little bit nah why would we why would we got pendant coming up not bad. I better get lethal here. If I die because I have angers in my hand, I'm going to be very pips pissed. We're fine. Easy. Now, anger wasn't necessarily the reason why I won. It was because of disarm. was the saving grace. Anger does that with the burns, right? We get Ex Berserk, Exhume, or Bludgeon. Now... You know, Berserk is a little bit better, but and we also have Odd Mushroom, so that's even better. But the thing is, we have a cheap deck relatively with the Anger and stuff like that, that I don't really need the extra energy. It would be nice, and this Odd Mushroom makes it more desirable, right? But then there's Exhume for Disarm, which is just by far amazing. By far, to me, the better choice. Exhume, Disarm? Yeah. No longer discard your hands. Maybe that's not a bad thing. No longer discard your hands. I don't have good luck at all, I know. I think we really need to disarm to, for the damage mitigation because we don't have good luck. It was really good, man. But loading was very good. It was incredible, man. Take the bell? Uh, take the bell? You guys are nutty. I should probably just take Busted Crown, to be honest. You guys want the memes? You guys want the memes. Normality. Whoa! Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's up? Yeah, I did. You want it? I'm drinking it. Scared the bajoozies out of me. Your legs? Then respect your body and listen to it. If you're feeling that, don't don't keep pushing it. Ah, uh, Lorax. Man, I've been there, man. I trust me, I hate it. There's been times where I record something and I just I lost everything and I'm just I, I'm just not motivated to do it again. But he, Look, one thing you gotta know, man, whatever you're going through, Lorax, I've been there, and a lot of content creators have been there, so I think you just gotta persevere. And what, what if we just do double anger? Let's go for it. So we are gonna remove the normality. But upgrade all strikes and defense. Okay, I'll upgrade all strikes and defense, of course, and then we're gonna remove the normality here. Because normality to me is just like, we are unceasing top with anger. This deck is doing things now. I'm just gonna remove normality, right? Only problem is the injury. The injury kind of messes up. Mobbing. The 
injury messes things up a little bit, but that's that's fine. I'm actually just because I'm you know anything that can get me things to be cheaper, I'll take it. Do I want to go for? I'll go for an elite. I know. I need blue candle. It's not. I know it's not the hot curses, but it, it'll get a little bit value here and there. Pretty well. I mean, Dude obviously gave me some good damage. Clash doesn't really work with curses. I think we need metallicize. We just need more blocks, so I'll take metallicize. I'm gonna keep upgrading the metallicize actually. Now I can keep removing. Me and the bones, not bad. If I spend money on the shop, I, I lose mall bank, right? So I, that's the only issue. But I like Exhum again for another disarm. Although against this guy, maybe not. For the hourglass, it's called the uh, Mall Bank. When you climb, when you climb a floor, gain twelve gold. I um, zoom again. I can remove. Keep removing some of these strikes. I need a trigger to help with the injury. All right. Well, here's the thing about um, on teaching top that if I get enough angers in my deck, at some point I can just keep playing anger. On, before I hit a curse. Ah, whirlwind I don't need. Hmm. It used to be five gold. Now it's twelve gold. It steadily increased, didn't it? You see how it went up? I did do a defect run. I, I just did a defect run. I can do another defect run. Maybe that's top was too too snap. Uh, maybe I bought Insistin Top too uh too rapidly. Oh, there's a chance I bought it too rapidly, to be honest. Armaments is pretty good with the Battle Trance, but, I mean, most of my cards are upgraded. Headbutt does what? Not much. I keep tenting myself with these things, right? Like, I know I have Mall Bank, but I keep tenting myself by going to the shop. I do think I like to shrug it off. I also like the Bag of Prep. Yeah, but Unseen Stop and uh, Battle Trance is a Nambo. It's true. Bag of prep. No, oh, push skip. What about this? How do we feel about this? I feel like it's too late. I, I, I don't know. I never take this. I never take this card, but maybe I should. It's 12 damage. Maybe I should take this. Do you guys take this card? I always take the money. Disarm. Thank you. Yeah, early I, I can imagine. That's a pretty good card to take early. I can imagine that. Yeah, Valoni's feeling better. He got over his, uh, his food poisoning. Dexterity pot is gonna help a lot. It's gonna help a lot. I like the thunderclap just to get rid of some of the artifacts. Although shockwave, clothesline, and bash can do it, right? But thunder thunderclap works pretty well with anger and stuff. I like thunderclap. 
it seems like a pick that you wouldn't necessarily think would be a good pick, but I, I think it's a good pick. Right, I'm gonna do Dexterity Pie and uh, Essence of Steel. See, I wanna do Disarm on this guy, but I don't wanna definitely do it on his artifacts. I wanna save it. See, that sucks that I got this hands. That's a really bad opening hands. Thundercap's a good example here of why. I'll do Shockwave. Okay, so we lose one artifact. I mean, we lose one uh, plated armor, but for the most part, with the double metallicized, and if we get some disarm, we should be fine. Here's the reckless shot. I'm gonna kill this guy. You guys, my battle trends. Ah, you know, I'll I'll let him keep battle trends to be honest. We got both the, two of the curses out, so all we have to worry about is injury. Oh, uh, that's a bad one, huh? Okay, I'll take bad trends now. I take it back. Oh, we got disarm. Ooh, we have a pen nib here. We have really decent damage. Decent damage and decent block with metallicize as well. So we're actually doing some work. And we got the weaken. I don't know. We're doing some work, guys. Except for this, this this moment right here. This moment is uh, painful. But uh, maybe we'll make up for it in damage. I should probably stop playing anger as much as I am. Keep in mind, I'm also playing this thing called Reckless Charge, which gives me dazed. That's also kind of stupid. I should probably remove that from my deck. But Anger's doing work. Anger's doing work. Pen up and Anger. Pen up and Anger. I mean, it scales up. Air play Enter the Gungeon. I have in Queen Lima Bean. I do want to try it. I do want to try Enter the Gungeon. We got Limit Breaker Feed. Huh. Limit Breaker Feed. Do we have... Do we do all? Limit Breaks perfect. You can no longer rest. You get Curse Key with Doobidol. Mark of Pain. I guess we'll take the Curse Key for Doobidol, but at the same time, we need Blue Candle. If we get Blue Candle, then we're in the clear. Blue Candle, we're in the clear. Please. That's all I need. An early elite too. They buff Juggernaut. I, I missed it. What was the buff of Juggernaut? Oh shit! Oh shit! What a combo! That's 12 strength. That's 12 strength, guys. With zero cost cards, I mean, we're killing it. We're actually killing it, guys. Whoa, second wind is super good, right? To get rid of the, the curses? Yes. I'll take this. Dark shackles, I, I don't mind it. Violence. Play, place three random attacks from your draw pile into your hand. Choose one of three random cards to add to your hand to cost zero this turn. Discovery or violence. Place three random attacks from your drop out into your hand. Isn't violence and, and anger kind of interesting? What's the upgrade of this? Let's see violence with anger. Anger and violence together. They work together. Ooh, we got ornamental fan with the anger. We got chemical X, which we don't have any X. Do we have any X cross cards? We don't. This is made, pretty much made for the silent and maybe for the defect. We have uh, ornamental fan. I think is pretty good. I think the true grit's not bad either because we can use true grit to get rid of uh, some of these curses. And we have another anger. You beat it. Oh, congrats, JP. Congrats. Let's do the fan. Let's get the true grit and let's remove. 
a strike at this point. I might take one of these potions for the elite coming up. I might need it. No. We're fine. We got this. More curses. I mean, the curses are not bad, right? I mean, they're, they're still bad, but... So there's a silver lining to them. Remember, we can always do like, zoom on the limit break. And just like that, GG. Blood for blood? Nah. Should I upgrade the limit break? I don't think so. I'm gonna leave it the way it is. I think we are gonna upgrade the true grit for sure. Oh, we got this. In fact, the limit break would have been a good upgrade for this, but this is fine. Actually, use here potion. Violence. Violence. Let's get rid of... Oh. So, True Grit is good, but not for this particular moment. I guess we can get rid of... Got penned up here. We got penned up here. Not bad. It's not bad. Exhume for limit break. Now we can get rid of the Rive. Anger is doing 46 damage. Anger is doing 49 damage. Strike is doing 60 damage. Oh, baby. Wow. I'm actually a big fan of Anger and Strength. As you guys can see. Got Rage with the Anger. And it works well up on CC Top. As long as we can get rid of some of these, uh, these curses. I got ignored? Who ignored what? How'd I get ignored? It's a 100k turning today? Really? I, uh... I should, I should stay on my Rubble Rod grind, shouldn't I? 100k turning? I should, see, Rubble Rod for me thought I was dying, but it's making a resurgence, isn't it? I should stay on my Rubble Rod grinds. I do. Check core, I do. Oops. It has 100k, 80k viewers on Twitch. Jesus Christ. I, I, I took a nap on Realm Royale, and now it's actually doing... That's the worst feeling in the world, guys. You take a nap on a game, and then the game tells you, you shouldn't have forgot about me. The worst feeling in the world. Shrug or Clash? Clash doesn't really work with this. Yeah, I mean, Clash... With the curses and stuff, it's, it's gonna have trouble. Maybe if I get... Once I get the curses out of the deck, but... At that point, I don't, I don't, I don't care about Clash. Shrug it off? I think we'll take a Shrug it off. I don't need the fear pot actually, because we have shockwave and all that stuff. Regret. Well, I mean, Rumorai is making a little bit of resurgence, and that's fine. I think it. 
It deserves it because it is a good game. It just uh, had a couple bad patches. <laughs> oh, that feels bad. That feels bad. One of us, ten impossible. RIP. We need a way to to manage these curses a little bit better. I mean, blue candle would be ideal. But second wind is not bad either. I mean, anger is doing... Guys. Yeah, Shroud. The, turn the turning makes a big difference. We'll do another body slam. Uh-oh, uh-oh. This might be the, the end, guys. This might be the end. Oh, that feels bad. Ugh. Never mind. The end, lol. The end. I underestimate the damage. Do I want to get rid of the break? I feel like, nah, now we actually want to start playing it for the scaling. Because then we can always just use Exhum on Disarm, which is the better target anyways for the Awakened one. Oh, but this is a bad fight. Okay, this, I'm not exaggerating. This is a bad fight. My first, my first turn just sucks though because of uh, the writhe. Get rid of the regret. Beautiful. <clears throat> Beautiful. Beautiful. Bad fight, he said. Burning pack is a good way to start getting rid of some of these curses. Every time I say it's a bad fight, this, the game keeps, like, telling me otherwise. I guess damage really just trumps all, man. You going? You going? Hey, take care of loading. Thanks for hanging out, dude. Let's get rid of the injury. Let's get the weaken. Metallicize is something maybe I should second guess, sec uh, reconsider playing against the, um... Awaken one. Nice. What I think about violence? I um, I don't know. I'm playing in a very particular deck where I I don't I like the violence in this deck. It's just, I'm trying to think about its potential in other decks. I'm a slow thinker. It takes a moment for me to actually think about things and uh, digest it. Takes a moment for me. Rage, second wind, shockwave, do second wind. I drew out the animation because I took damage and it got Centennial Puzzle. Reckless charge. So as long as we get the strength skilling, we're doing good. I got got rid of two of the curses so far. Got rid of two curses. All we have left is the injury and the regret. So we got rid of the injury. So we're almost curse free. We got regret. So we gotta get rid of the regret and we're happy. 
Nah, I'm not gonna do exhumed because I want to do that in disarm. But if I can get something that gives me like... Okay, that's alright. That's alright. And we do limit break shenanigans. Guys, I think we're gonna win this with flying colors. Let's get the weaken. Second win wasn't bad. Actually, second win was pretty damn good. Matter of fact, guys, second wins with the days reckless charge is it, making the days actually like amazing. Got violence here. Uh. I like the violence here. I like the violence here. Seventy-eight damage. Hell yeah. Limit break. Clothesline. Strike. Anger. Hell yeah, guys. Gotta be careful. So this could be a good fight for disarm again, I would say. Shockwave is not bad either. Get rid of defense. We could we could get some block here actually. We could get some block with rage. That's not bad. A little bit of value here and there. Get rid of the regret. I think all we're all that's left is injury, right? In our deck. Oh, we're curse free. The deck is curse free. This is smooth sailing. Let's go. It's two damage on the anger. Not to mention it's giving me block. Love it. I love this kind of deck. See, this deck's for me are like this. It's really fun. I this is okay. This is crazy, but it's fun. I mean, look at it. The damage is immense. I love it. Oh my god. Love it. Love it. Another 40 minute bomb of a game. I absolutely like it. I think violence is cool. I think violence is cool if you if you have poor draw and, and you do need to uh, get some attack. I think violence is an interesting card. I think it's a... Uh, I think violence is a uh, perfectly fine card.